Here, we're, here we are looking for the equivalent resistance between points A and B. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to again stretch this circuit out between points A and B and what we notice is I have on between on this route I have three resistors all in series with each other and from A to B in this route I only have one resistor. So I'm going to stretch this circuit out a little bit. We'll start with this side here with my three resistors. There's my three resistors. We have point A, point B. And then on the other side we have one resistor. Each resistor has the same resistance. So now I'm going to simplify this with some equivalent resistances by first looking at this side and then, of course, there is no equivalent resistance on this side since it's already done for me. So, we simplify the circuit as so, where on this side we have three resistors with resistance R in series. If I were to add all three, it would to, to get the equivalent resistance, I would have R plus R plus R, R3, R. And on this side, I have R. So what I have is two resistors, one with a resistance of 3R, one with a resistance of R, in parallel with each other. So to determine the equivalent resistance, I just use the equation for parallel resistors. Now, in order to get this in a way that I can add, we put threes on either side here, so this becomes four over three R. So, my equivalent resistance is equal to three R divided by four.